trying to get to downtown Seattle. And then I uh, realize I'm on the wrong side of I-90. There's no bike path on my side. It kind of just stops here at a dead end. There's my bike. Uh, lucky for me, however, that uh, generally when you run out of road, there's always a giant blackberry bush um, with delicious Seattle blackberries that have been growing all summer. So I climbed up on a giant utility box and I've been snacking on blackberries, trying to decide what to do, how to get to the other side of I-90. I'll probably just hop the fence, dodge some cars, play Frogger with my life. But I've got a whole bunch of quarters, so there's tokens in the machine, as they say, as the Buddhists would say, tokens in the machine. You know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Um, so I'm going to snack on some blackberries. And try not to get prickered. You ever get prickered? I'll show you some prickers. Those are some prickers right there. That is some pricker or blood brothers. So uh, yeah, one of the great things about Seattle is that it's really bike friendly. Um, hardly anybody at all drives a car. It's sort of looked down upon, it's sort of boorish, with two O's, B-O-O-R. And uh, it's sort of, you know, it's for the rabble, the plebes sort of ride cars. And uh, the elite, the uh, super smart tech geeks, the high society types, we all ride bicycles or rollerbladers, scooters, or drive paddle boats, or uh, ride emus to work. But yeah, only, like nobody really uses a car. Um, cars are sort of, you know, passe in Seattle, you could say, um, in the sense that, like, you know... So if you don't know how to, uh, pick a black cap, you just grab them with your whole hand. You sort of, you get a handful of thorns, handful of berries. It's kind of, you take the good with the bad. There hasn't been a cotton gin invented that can pick blackberries yet. But um, yeah, they're super delicious. I don't know if these are black caps or blackberries. I know there's a difference. There's also a black raspberry with a P. Rasp. Sort of like the way an old man breathes. In a raspy sort of cough, you know. Uh, there's also the famous rumored blue raspberry. That doesn't exist in nature. It was invented by the greatest minds in the Manhattan Project. I try to get them all over my lips because this is um, it's nature's sunscreen. I mean the blackberries themselves don't do anything to protect the lips but bees and birds and other animals are attracted to the blackberry juice and they come and they eat and the insects, the bees, you know, they vomit whenever they land um, some honey mixture. And that's really good for your lips. So if you just get the juice all over, sit out in the sun for a couple hours, the bees will land, barf honey on your lips, skin protected. I mean, this is the uh, white man's economy right now. You gotta get back to your roots, back to nature. Save some bucks. Personally, I love berries. And the um, best thing about berries is you don't have to pay for them. Like, even if they're in the grocery store, no one's gonna stop you. I'm just picking a few, putting them in your mouth, chewing them, swallowing them. Like, don't even really bother savoring them. Sometimes I don't even chew them, I just swallow them whole. I, I'll, don't even taste them. That one's just for you, tummy. Chew that up, buddy. The tummy... It's like... It's like your second mouth. It's got taste buds down there, probably. And you've probably eaten something with taste buds and amalgamated its taste sense into your enteric nervous system. I mean, how often does your tummy get unchewed food? If you're me, like regularly, I don't chew food. Take the duck approach. I just sort of I'll swallow them in my billet. That's a fancy animal term for a mouth, a mouth stomach that's in your throat. 
like seagulls, pelicans, they can just hold fish in there. They put a little water in their beak. The fish jumps in, it's made a nice habitat. And uh, the fish will live forever until the bird spits them out. Birds are really good at spitting because they don't have lips. Everybody thinks you need lips to spit, it's just not true. Yeah, these are frickin' delicious. Frickin', is that a word people use where you're from? It's usually not where I'm from because people stub their toes a lot. And um, there's small kids around, you can't just, you know, drop the F-bomb. I don't curse personally in my day-to-day -day life. I avoid swears. I think they're, you know, they're crass, unnecessary, and they're not as funny as swear alternatives. Like if I get pricked by a thorn, I'll yell fudge, or gosh darn it, or Josh Hartnett. That puts a smile on my face. Oh, I don't know. I'm not feeling so good, guys. I don't know what's in these berries. I think they're like really addicting. I hope these aren't the berries of an opium plant. Any minute now, some Afghani cartel's gonna show up. They're gonna shoot me up, light me up with an AK. Cause I'm eating all their opium berries. Delicious. They are well guarded by all these prickers, the thorns. So the MR car, he's just sitting down there. He's kind of a fat guy, probably bald. Probably can't get erections. So he's just gonna sit in his car and he's angry at me, young, agile, fit. Favorite of the universe. Can get erections, really good ones. Which I try to share with the public whenever I can. I'm up here eating berries. Jumping around, being fanciful, enjoying my time as a human being, eating my berry counterparts by the dozens, berry genocide, but uh, yeah. He doesn't have hubcaps, he's got those just like metal discs on his wheels that say like, hey, this car can probably get you in trouble. 